in association with NCBA Bank. In business tonight, scholars, policy analysts, think tanks and civil society groups have converged in Accra, Ghana to step, step up calls for the restructuring of the global financial ecosystem to provide relief for economies grappling with debt distress. This comes in the wake of default on sovereign debt by Ethiopia, Ghana and Zambia. Let's now take a look at some of the proposals. It is the second day of the International Conference on Africa's Debt Crisis taking place in Accra, Ghana, and policymakers, scholars, and think tanks are calling for a rethink of the global financial architecture to ensure that economies which fall into distress, especially those in low-income countries in Africa, are given reprieve from the burden of servicing debt obligations. We have moved from a predominance of official multilateral loans uh, to uh, tide over our situations of crisis to a dependence on much more private financing. Governments are prioritizing the repayment of external debt mainly at unsustainable levels and renegotiating domestic debt in ways that are creating livelihood crisis for domestic holders of government paper. Stakeholders present at the conference laid emphasis on case studies from countries which have gone into default, especially Ethiopia and Zambia, calling for urgent measures to be taken up to ensure that African countries are spared the burden that comes with falling into debt distress and the protracted process of debt restructuring. Countries like Ethiopia cannot afford to put all their money on debt servicing. So what we propose to the government of Ethiopia is a cap on debt servicing and a wing fencing of social expenditures. Zambia is still hanging in the balance. There was a talk yesterday about, you know, having reached a deal with the private creditors. And, but that is very tentative. It depends on the official creditors. So far, three countries in Africa have defaulted on debt. That's Ghana, Zambia and Ethiopia and the hope remains that there will be no other economies coming into such positions because of the complexities it does precipitate for the citizens and the economy. Harambe Sako plans 